Hello, this is Sim Racing Corner and welcome to the channel. This is a follow up on our Face Track No IR review from a few days ago. So check that out first for the quick start guide if you're interested in getting started with Face Track No IR and also the review of the three different webcams we tested. One of those cameras in that review was the Logitech Brio, uh, which is a high end webcam that supports 60 Hz at 1080p or even 90 Hz at lower resolutions. However, Face Track No IR didn't take advantage of the higher refresh rate. Uh, capture of the Brio and it was only able to operate at 30 Hertz which meant 30 frames per second and in fact all three cameras in the review ran at 30 Hertz in face track no IR and that neatly leads us on to this video about the PlayStation Eye camera uh, this camera can be used with face track no IR at 60 Hertz so double the frame rate capture of the three cameras in the original review and I can tell you straight away it makes a big difference in the head tracking speed and accuracy and I'm going to be demonstrating that in this video today the PlayStation 3 Eye camera costs a few pounds on eBay, uh, so basically you can get this complete head tracking solution for around a tenner along with the software you need. Uh, the first thing to know about the PlayStation 3 Eye camera, it's, it isn't plug and play compatible with Windows, you first need to download a special driver. There's free and paid variants of the drivers uh, that you'll need, uh, I've included links in the description for you. I'm using one called CLI Platform Driver. It costs just $2.99. Um, it's the one I would recommend. It's working great for me. I don't know if the free drivers I've included in the description will work with FaceTrack and OIR. I didn't test those, but they're there for you to try anyway. Once you've installed the driver, plugged in the PlayStation 3 eye camera, it should be ready to go and recognized by FaceTrack and OIR. Uh, I haven't altered any of the settings in Face Track No IR from the review, uh, so this is a direct comparison against those results, and I'm testing again in F1 2018 as before. First, I'll show you the head tracking speed using the PlayStation 3 Eye camera just sat in the driving seat, so you can see how quickly my head movements are translated into the game. Uh, this is noticeably quicker than the other webcams at 30 hertz. I also felt the accuracy has also stepped up another level as well using the PlayStation 3 Eye camera. So let's compare this to the Logitech C920 again, sat in the cockpit moving my head around. I can tell there's a longer delay between my head movement uh, to the game reacting using this webcam uh, at 30 hertz. It does appear to me the PlayStation camera at 60 hertz has halved the latency. In other words, it's doubled the speed of the in-game head tracking, which is very welcome. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison. I think this shows the difference perfectly. Uh, and in game I can tell there's a big difference as well. In my review I concluded face track no IR wasn't really up to the task in my opinion for F1 2018. Uh, racing F1 cars were just too fast for uh, face track no IR to keep up due to the latency of the head tracking. Um, it wasn't quite snappy enough for me. But now using the PlayStation camera with face track no IR I have to flip my opinion. I think it's uh, good enough now. It's not perfectly one to one but I was very comfortable running laps. With the other webcams at 30 hertz, I remained wary that the latency could cause difficulty at times, while glancing around too much increased potentially accident causing distractions when your head movements were not closely synced within the game. And I felt I needed to be quite deliberate to pick the moments when I was moving my head around. Uh, and generally, during cornering, that worked pretty well, uh, but on straights, I found the latency could be quite disorientating. With the PlayStation Eye camera being quicker, I got to the point I forgot I was using head tracking and merely concentrated on the driving experience, uh, which was great. It's still possible face track no IR can lose tracking momentarily during a session uh, with this camera. Um, it's a gamble, I suppose. Sometimes it will be at the wrong time. <laughs> it could throw you off your race. I ran several laps and had very few issues like this. Um, I recall a single jittery moment while cornering in one half hour session, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, one tip I'll add is make sure you have good lighting as that really helps the camera maintain tracking. Uh, so if you are experiencing constant tracking issues, it's likely just to be poor lighting conditions. Yeah, there you have it. This is a really good value and quality combination. It's working really well for me. Testing the head tracking ability in a game like F1 2018 is a formidable test. So if you can pass muster here, then it's certainly going to be suitable for any other title. So if you are looking for a head tracking solution, this is a good starting point and definitely worth trying out. Uh, so before I leave, I wanted to talk about my interest in head tracking. Uh, primarily, I sim race in VR and if I return to my single monitor setup, I often find it difficult to adjust to the fixed view of the screen. And head tracking is a way to remove that restriction and be closer to that VR experience of being able to look around and particularly while cornering. 
So this is my personal mission I'm sharing with you to find a good head tracking solution for me and without having to buy a fully fledged and very expensive track IR package. I think it's a very good product uh, but simply too overpriced for the components. So this won't be the end of my head tracking adventures. I also own an Ed Tracker which is another head tracking solution and I'll feature that in another video soon. I'm also in the process of sourcing parts for a DIY track IR project. They use the same principles as track IR with a camera and head mounted infrared lights but cost a fraction less than £15 to build. So that's coming up soon too. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on this great content coming soon to the channel. So I'm off and I'll let the footage continue for a while for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching. Uh, please hit the like to help the channel and happy simming. Bye bye for now.